hope you guys are all having a good day. Today's video is going to be so exciting. I am a person who loves routine and I love I don't like stepping out of my comfort zone. Like when we go on vacation, I always want to go to California. Like I know that place. I love it. Whenever I go out to a restaurant, I want chicken strips or something because I know that I like them. I never step out of my comfort zone and I never try new things. For the next seven days, I'm going to be trying something new every single day. I've been seeing all over Pinterest, all over Instagram, these like disposable cameras and they're doing like cute photo shoots and taking their disposable cameras everywhere and going to get them developed. I have personally never done this. I feel like when I was really young, I had a disposable camera. I feel like we all did, but I've never done like a photo shoot with them. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I got some sparkling water, some bread, and then bread and cheese, lots of carbs, some lemons for the water, some cantaloupe. I got some brie cheese, and then here is my camera. Very generic, and I feel like these have been around forever, but I'm excited to try this out, you guys, and hopefully get some cute pictures. where we get them developed is open. If not, we will do it tomorrow afternoon, but stay tuned to see all the photos. And I actually posted a picture on Instagram too. So if you guys wanna go check that out as well, I'll have my Instagram link down below, but I will see you guys when we are on our way to go get the photos developed. We called the place and they're still open and we can take them. It is, it's only 7.30 and I think they closed at nine. You guys, it was so weird taking photos with this today. I wanted to like hold it away from me to take the photo, normally like a, like an iPhone or a regular camera. It is just so weird putting your eye up to the lens and my fingers were in some of them. I think I like moved them before I took the photo. So we just got home and we don't have any pictures yet, but they said probably tomorrow or in the next few days, so since I'm doing this for a week, it's totally fine because I'll just pick this up and show you guys later on in the week how the pictures turned out. I will keep you guys updated and I will see you guys tomorrow for day number two of me trying something new. That rhymed. <laughs> so it is day two. When I was making this list, I was sitting with my mom and dad and they were kind of helping me with things that I haven't done before. My dad was like, haha, mow the lawn. And I was like, oh, that's actually such a good idea because I've never mowed the lawn before. And that might be kind of weird to some people but my dad has always mowed our lawn and I never have. That's what we're gonna be doing today, you guys. This is the first time we're doing it this season and also I have such bad allergies. So I don't know how this is gonna go mowing the lawn as well. Let's go mow the lawn for the first time in my entire life. <laughs> See, my allergies are already so bad. <laughs> oh. Let's do this. What if I blow up the house? It won't. Get started. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one.
skip that. Okay guys, just finished with mowing the lawn for the first time ever. I do have to say it was pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit harder. It was a little hard to start the lawnmower. I, I've never done that before. Tonight, I'm going to pick up my disposable camera photos. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. They're all ready to be picked up and I will show you guys the final product of that. But I just took an allergy pill because I can already feel the allergies coming in hot. So I just got back from getting the photos and I haven't even looked at them yet. So we're going to look at them together and see how they turned out. love them like I want to do that all the time that was the end of day two so I will see you guys tomorrow for day three okay it is day three and I am on my way to go to McDonald's you guys in the 22 years that I have been alive I have never tried a Big Mac before and I told a whole bunch of people that and they're like what how have you never tried a Big Mac that's their staple food item at their place and I have never tried it so I was thinking I'm like I want to try food I was like thinking about maybe sushi because I've never tried sushi before, but I can't bring myself to try it. And I probably can't eat it all, so I brought Kyle with me. So he will probably eat the rest of it, but I just want to try it, taste it, and rate it for you guys. Two, Is there two, pa yeah. two buns? Two patties? Two patties, three buns, lettuce, I think onion. I'm not even gonna be able to fit that in my mouth. The only thing I ever really get from McDonald's is their french fries and like a little cheeseburger. That is it. No, when I was little, I would take the chicken nuggets and take off the breading. Because I didn't like it. Isn't that weird? I would literally pull off the breading of all the chicken nuggets and then just eat the chicken part. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, can I just get a Big Mac, please? A Big Mac? Yeah. Yeah, was there anything else I get today? That, no, that's all. All right, you can have a new window. Thank you. Bye. We got the goods. Okay. It's a bit messy. It's messy? Well, okay, messy. they gave me lots of napkins, so. Okay. I can't believe there's another like bun in the middle of it. That is crazy to me. I did not know that. This is what it looks like, you guys. Oh. It's pretty good. Oh, that is good. There's some cool sauce on it. Mmm. That is good. That is really good. I mean, I probably can never finish it, but I would rate that probably like a nine. That sauce is really good on there. Welcome to day four, you guys. Today, we are going to be getting our exercise in. I drive down to Starbucks or this other coffee shop here where I live every single day, probably every day. So I thought, instead of driving down today, that we should walk. It's a half an hour walk, there and back. So it'll be about an hour. I'm nervous, but wish us luck. I'm very sweaty, but we found stairs that like literally went from the main road that we were walking on all the way up to like my neighborhood. So it cut the time in half. But like you guys saw, those stairs were so steep and there were so many of them. So I'm very sweaty now, but that was almost like an hour. Like I said, it would be, we were right on schedule. And it actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but that was day four. I will see you guys tomorrow for day number five. It is day five and it's seven o'clock right now. I have never driven a manual car before and we're gonna do that today. I'm so nervous. Kyle has a manual car. We're gonna go take it to a parking lot and he's gonna let me drive it, you guys. This is going to be so scary and I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. First ever time driving stick shift. 
Let's go. I can't believe you're letting me do this. I don't know why. I'm just letting it was you kind of your idea it. too. It was. <laughs> Whoa, why is it down so low? Why is it so low? Do you like driving like a race car driver? Sorry, I'm gonna be here all night. Okay, I think that's good. Use your left foot, push the clutch all the way. What's a clutch? Let's go speed racer. Left, up. And then if you go down on the left hand side, that's second gear. So like once you hit like a certain period, you have to shift. Isn't there a thing where you have to like keep the clutch and you have to like do it at the same time? Okay, so um, also whenever you're, you're coming to a stop, make sure you push the clutch in before you slow down too much, okay? Otherwise it, it'll stall. Okay, so how do I go? Okay, so it's in first gear. Yeah. Um, you can, with your left foot, you can kind of release it a little bit slowly and just get a feel for it until it starts engaging. So you don't even have to give it a gas, just like slowly take your, your foot off the clutch and you kind of feel it starting to like engage a little bit and at that, that point you can give it a little bit of gas. Oh, you guys! She did it! I'm driving! And then before you can, like, as you're slowing down before you come to a stop, push the clutch in. Clutch. Can I brake? Yeah. Okay. Push the clutch in. You use you stop it. Yeah, because when you come to a stop, you have to push the clutch in. Not bad. Thank you. You're getting better. You guys, I can drive stick shift. Is this your first time? Yeah. Not bad. Thanks. Well, now what do you want to do? You pretty much got it down. I want to go on the road. Yeah, before you come to a stop, yeah, push the okay. clutch in and so, put it into neutral. Okay, okay, okay. No, now I'm scared. There's cars. There's cars. Okay, there's more pressure when there's cars. And you can shift it into first. You might need to give it a little bit more gas because we're on a hill a little bit, so we're getting... Can I just kill your car? No, you just stall it. Okay! Driver, how did I do? Um, you did pretty good, actually. You did, did I? Good. Yeah, Thank we stalled you. it like, what, three times? Two but times. I'm glad we took it like on like the roads, though, because then I actually got a, like, a good feel for it. Thanks for letting me use your car. Thanks, yeah. Will I ever get a manual car? Probably not. It's cool that I know how to do it now. That we have something fun coming for day six, and we're actually filming it tonight at 12 a.m. So stay tuned, we'll see you guys in about five hours. Okay, it's a little bit later. It is almost 12 a.m. I wanted to go somewhere in the middle of the night for food. I've always wanted to go to Denny's and do it, but one, here we don't have indoor dining right now and I have always wanted to go to this one diner that is a little bit away from where we live. It's called Rocco's. They're open for takeout. I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm a very big creature of habit and I go to bed normally at like 10 p.m. Fun fact about this diner, there's actually a replica about half an hour away from where I live and it's where they film Riverdale and it looks identical to the one that we are going to today. We got the goods. Got my chocolate milkshake. It was closed, so we didn't really get to show you guys anything. Here's your french fries. Yum. Holy cow. Yum. That looks good. Wow. Cheers to new experiences. That was an experience. How do you feel? I'm in my bed. <laughs> tomorrow is our last and final day, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today is the last and final day. Today I am going to attempt to make a key lime pie. I have always wanted to do it. I've always wanted to do apple pie or key lime pie, but I've never done either. And I found the best looking key lime pie, so I just went to the store and picked up all the stuff. It was $40. For all of it, it was crazy. Baking stuff is expensive. Let's go. Welcome to my kitchen. It is time to start baking. And it says that we need to bake the pie crust first. I 
just finished working out, which is funny because I'm about to try this key lime pie. But this is what it looks like. I just took a little piece. It smells so good. Let's try it out. My first time ever baking key lime pie. You guys, that's pretty good. Oh, I made whipped cream and put it on top. I don't know if I told you guys that. I think I would rate that like a 10. Not gonna lie. You guys need to try this recipe. I will put it down below for you guys to try. Well, that concludes my I tried something new every day for a week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun. I did a whole bunch of things that I've never done before and I actually enjoyed pretty much all of them. Be sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys. Bye.